in the December 2020 issue of Woodworker's Journal, I built this multi-drawered coffee table that's based loosely on those old map cabinets you might see in an antique store. And for this project, I decided to use a deep blue paint for the cabinet carcass and drawer faces. It's got a flat sheen to it, and I think the color provides a pretty striking contrast to this heavily figured ambrosia maple top. And while this paint might look like something you can buy at a home center, you can't. It's also not garden variety latex, enamel, or lacquer based either. It's General Finishes Milk Paint, and this was my first opportunity to try it out. Traditional milk paint comes as a bag of powder, like this, and it's been gaining a lot of traction in woodworking circles in recent years. It's one of the oldest forms of paint, and I think there's an authentic nostalgia to using it. It contains limestone, casein protein, which is where the milk comes in, and natural earth pigments that provide the color. The powdered paint must be mixed into solution with water before use, and it can be brushed, rolled, or sprayed. Now the ratio of water to powder is important with traditional milk paint. If you get the solution too thin, like this, it can end up looking like watercolor and you'll have to reapply it several times. And if you get the ratio too thick, the paint can become lumpy and harder to apply smoothly. The other issue with powdered milk paint is that you should only mix up what you plan to use in a short period of time. The milk casein in the liquid paint begins to spoil in about 24 hours, so you'll have to waste what you don't use. You can't store it. General Finishes has taken a different approach to their milk paints. It still has a limestone base like traditional milk paint, which gives it that flat sheen and great durability. But it's formulated to be more user-friendly and economical. The paint comes pre-mixed in a can to the correct ratio, so with a little stirring, it's ready for use. It has a much thicker consistency than typical home center paint, yet it can be brushed, rolled, or sprayed. And it has very little odor when wet. When you're finished, GF Milk Paint cleans up with soap and water. I was really impressed with how easy it was to apply this paint with both a brush and a roller. It levels out well and dries super fast. And while I used a gray primer on my project first, I probably could have skipped that step because this paint is thick enough to cover well without a primer. For instance, here's a single coat on a piece of nearly white Baltic birch plywood. To me, General Finishes Milk Paint behaves a lot like latex paint, but it's not latex. The company tells me that often consumer latex paints are made of softer, more pliable, low-cost materials to help compete for price. But because of its limestone base, this milk paint forms a harder, more durable finish than other consumer paints. It's designed for top coating furniture and cabinetry with acrylic binders that give it good adhesion on many surfaces. It's also suitable for exterior use. Even better, General Finishes Milk Paint doesn't contain milk protein, so there's nothing to spoil here. What you don't use, you can save and use later to help minimize waste. And here's just a sampling of the range of colors in General Finishes Milk Paint color palette. There's 33 colors in all, everything from dark and muted to bold and bright. So if you like the vintage look of milk paint, here's a more convenient alternative to powder that applies like latex and helps to minimize waste. I'm happy with the results and I'm looking forward to using more of this on future projects. So give it a try. You can learn more about General Finishes Milk Paints by visiting their website, generalfinishes.com or at rockler.com or see them at your local Rockler store. I'm Chris Marshall with Rockler and Woodworkers Journal, and thanks for watching.